Hi there. On this channel, I talk all about DaVinci Resolve, and I've also spent the last several years making presets and templates and plugins for DaVinci Resolve. One of my more recent products is a pack of YouTube themed graphics. If you're making a YouTube video and you want to prompt the viewer to click the subscribe button, I have a pack with three different variations of those graphics, highly customizable, and those are all designed to fit the current animation design you should see on YouTube right now. If you want to see that current design and you are not currently subscribed to this channel, click the button and then see, see how it matches, as long as it matches. One day that will be outdated and that won't work as well, but you should still subscribe. Uh, after this design changes because hey maybe I updated the pack anyway this video is about an update to that pack I have these three styles of like subscribe button graphics but today I'm adding into that pack a like button animation again matching the current design you see here on YouTube this will be a free update to everyone who has already bought the pack and with this update I am not even increasing the pack I debated it but I'm keeping the price the same so if you haven't picked up this pack yet you can do that now um, for not any more money than it was previously and you get this new addition so I'm here in DaVinci Resolve uh, I have this pack over here in my effects library. We have the different versions of these like button animations, but I'm going to grab this new like button, drop it right on my timeline, and we'll see. Scales up. We got the click. We got the animation. We're good to go at the end. Scales back down. But of course, uh, a lot of the secret sauce is over here in the inspector. We have some animation controls. If you want to offset when that click actually takes place, you can do that. So it just hits a little bit later. Also, by default, we have the scale in animation, but you can either, either uh, change that off entirely so that it just sits in the middle or uh, slides in. Also looks pretty good, especially if you have none. Um, you can leverage these transform controls to also position this however you want, sort of in your scene. <laughs> and it will still do its thing. If you change this back to scale, it will affect some things, but you can you know, further modify it from there and it will scale into its new position. Or you can just reset all of those. And uh, lots of power down here in these customization controls. Let's walk through what we've got. First of all, we do have this number. It automatically like ticks up plus one. So if this was, we have 63, 264, if we have like 12, It'll start at 12 and go up to 13. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna come back to this one in a second. Uh, we also have some color controls for these two main lines we've got going on. If you wanna change the color of those to you know match any sort of uh, color you've got going on, you can do that. Then we have uh, another a little suite of controls down here. We have an X offset for this main sort of animation thumbs up. We also have this background width, which you can adjust and even go above that if you want it. Okay. 30, I didn't mean 30, I meant three, <laughs> too wide. But you can you can increase this and then you can also shift that background. I have these three controls to compensate for this number control, right? Let me, let me reset all these things I've already done. Okay. The defaults work pretty good for single digit and double digit, but if you want to go up to what? Like uh, four, 35, then oh no, these numbers are now, it doesn't look that bad at the beginning, but oh no, um, especially with this animation, it, it goes up to 436, and then like the space looks a little cramped. So at this point, um, you could increase this background width a little bit and shift this to a little compensate, shift this over, and you know, you're back, you're back up and running. Uh, th where this gets interesting is with these last two controls, a number animation, if you want to, or number addition, if you uncheck that, it will stick to whatever number you manually set it to, but this is especially useful with this number suffix. As is common here on YouTube, uh, if you have a lot of likes, you won't see the increase by one, uh, but if you have like uh, something crazy like four, 435,000 likes, then uh, in this number suffix, you can just add a K in there and then uh, compensate like we were going to. Compensate here, slide this over, slide this over, you know, find something that works for you and then hey da dink great tons of customization i do really like that default behavior of you know seeing the number go up by one but that's sort of like a cool thing versus also showing off a large number of likes it's up to you you have that power some really cool small levels of customization here i'm pretty happy with it uh i did make this addition to the pack because it was specifically requested so if you are interested in some subscribe graphics or the like button uh you know pick this up now but also if there is anything else in this sort of like youtube adjacent field um that would convince you to pick up this pack 
drop a comment, let me know, and it might just get added in. This pack, you know, won't expand infinitely. I think I want to take another swing at like a general lower third template with some cool customization, um, but that would probably be something something separate. We'll keep this one pretty focused on the like YouTube type graphics. But if you think there is something uh, basic or that you would use that I'm missing, let me know. Of course, a link to the store page for this effect will be in the description. Uh, don't miss that or all the other stuff over on my site. It's absolutely the best way to support me so I can keep making cool stuff for all of you, which is what I want to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.